I got buddies that tell me all the time, CCO1s aren't about flex. I beg to differ. So I've been working on this one today and uh, testing a couple different theories, if you will. Uh, there's not a lot of parts for these trucks as far as hop-up parts. Um, these Tamiya kits are, are basically for, I don't want to say purists, but a lot of purists take them, build them, put them on the shelf, take them outside, run them once in a while, and enjoy them. I am slightly there. I'm not 100% with that. Um, this one especially. I love Land Rovers, Range Rovers. I'm a huge fan of the little D90s. And this truck, I believe, has always had a lot more potential than people realize if you just take a little bit of time and do some work with it. Now, there's still a lot of parts that I need to get together for. I'm having some trouble locating some the right tubing to make all my suspension parts. Uh, it was originally just going to be rear suspension, but now with what I've done to the front end, I need to make a couple of front end parts for it also to keep the geometry correct and uh, and also to make the steering parts um, to get more steering throw out of this truck but right now as it sits I have changed the shocks on it it has got <laughs> four huge shocks on it that are way too big for what it needs to be which allows it to have the droop on the back end as you see and I've got to make a couple more a couple more parts for the front end to actually get the front shocks to sit where I want them in order to have them uh, compress a lot easier and I may actually have to take a couple of the loops out of the springs as well I'm not sure yet um, sitting flat it does sit a little nose forward a little higher in the rear end so I know I'm gonna have to do it on the back end um, on the front just to make it a little more supple a little more soft change the shock weight oil and I think this thing is going to be about ready. I'm not looking to do any competitions with it. I'm just looking to make it a little more capable than it is. Um, they're, they're a great platform just to get out and bash. But I honestly believe that this truck is capable of a lot more than just running out through the trails and whatnot. I believe with the right suspension, it will be capable of taking on some Class 1 type terrain. Maybe a little bit of Class 2. Nothing crazy, but... Uh, I think it'll do a lot more than, than people realize. So this one is is definitely been fun. I've worked on it a lot today. Uh, I've made my own <laughs> made my own lift kit on the front end. I'm just trying to figure out about how much higher, if if any higher, I can go without having to change the CV axles and, and things of that nature because it does have uh, full CVs on the front end. And yeah, so I'm hoping to have this thing wrapped up maybe next weekend where I can at least test it, take it up to the hobby shop and test it on their test track around back, which is a little more than this thing will ever see. But it'd be a great proving ground to see if we're going in the right direction. But I figured you guys might get a kick out of seeing it. Uh, yeah, this tire is still off the ground a little bit, but it's completely flexed out. And uh, this the front end could actually go up a little further. That's why I need to work on the, the compression and, and the shock weight oil. But uh, we're getting there. This thing is, it, it may turn out to be a beast. You never know. All right. And secondly, it's back. Uh, again, another cold, rainy day. Rainy Saturday here in North Carolina. So I was able to get this thing back in here and mount the uh, the updated front shocks on it. So I just want to want to take the body off and let you guys see what we got going on. And, uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference, but they are gigantic compared, compared to what was on it. Uh, look at those. They are huge. <laughs> they got plenty of rebound. They're a little stiffer, but got all the, I got a little bit of preload in them, not much. Uh, rebound on it is crazy. I can't wait to get it out and uh, and actually test it. I think it's gonna take away a lot of that nose dive, that front end nose dive these trucks are, are synonymous for. And uh, be it, it just give it a lot more performance. The back end, the back shocks are on it as well, if you can tell. And that's just a, that's a no name shock, man. But it's like one and a half times the dimension or the diameter of uh, the originals. 
And the only thing I had to do actually on the rears was the rear trailing arms on the bottom. Uh, I had to kind of shave away a little bit of material on the inside to get the pivot ball to sit down inside. And then on the front A arms, when I took the old shocks off, I had to get the Dremel out and kind of uh, cut away a little bit of the inside for that pivot. It's got a huge pivot ball on it um, to sit down in there. But after after that, put the truck back together and it's, man, it's rock solid. I could probably take all of the preload out, honestly, and be just as fair, just, you know, just as good to go with no preload. Let's see, take the preload out of this side. Long-winded. A lot of threads on that shot. Here we go. Still stiffer than the than the original shocks, I'll tell you that. So looking forward to getting this outside when it stops raining, if it ever stops raining, and uh, and giving it a, a thorough test, airing it out, and uh, try not to break it again. All right, so lastly, here's the last thing on this quick one, super quick. Um, still up in the air, still kind of undecided on, uh, on the whole low C Bahare thing. Uh, um, I may do one, uh, trouble locating them again. Then I've got my eye on something that I've wanted for many, many years uh, that I'm leaning towards heavily that probably wouldn't get a lot of use, but I just want one in my collection. So I don't know yet. I'll probably try to let you guys know later next week. Um, and lastly, something that I'm definitely trying, <laughs> thinking about kicking around, and only because other people have done it, and I think they're way cool, <laughs> and I hate to even talk about them, but um, I am looking for input from the followers here, if you have one, if that's great. If you don't, I understand. Um, I am considering buying one of those, <laughs> I hate to even bring this up, WPL D12. That's the little bitty Suzuki carry pickup truck. The little tiny thing. I think it's like 118th or 116th, whatever. It's smaller than normal. Uh, there seems to be a humongous following for those little trucks. And for the price point, you really can't beat it. Uh, I was looking at them online directly through WPL site. Uh, the truck itself is... 60 bucks regular you know close to 60 bucks then you can order also uh the metal gear set apparently they have problems with the transmissions and those things so the metal gear set and a metal axle housing for the rear and still be under 100 bucks <laughs> and i i don't i don't know that i would use it i see a lot of guys using these things and turning them into drift trucks uh am i a drifter no i've tried it uh i just I can't really get into the whole drift thing, but um, I definitely have thought about buying one of those trucks just simply for the cool factor, and uh, and, and and possibly even two, maybe you know another one down the line. I can't, I know I can't do two this week, but um, another one down the line to maybe put a solid axle on the front end and, and do some off-roading with it, but. If you have one of those, would you please drop a comment and let me know how you enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, if you even messed with it, or, or what your thoughts on it, what's a, you know, all together. Because I'm looking for input on that thing before I, I pull the trigger and do it. But anyway, that's what's going on here. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll be really close to wrapping up that D90 to, to Maya uh, next weekend. Hopefully so. And uh, get it up to the hobby shop and get some video from there on the test track. Uh, it, it would be really cool to get my buddy out there. He's, he's a huge Tamayo fan as well. And uh, a good, he, he likes these old CC01 chassis, just like I do. So maybe I could talk him into bringing up one and we get out there and do something together, who knows. But anyway, thanks for taking a look. Hey, look, if you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell. And every time we put something up here, you'll be the first to know. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're doing uh, healthy and happy and and uh, just 
living a dream. Hope you guys are, are taking care and, and just, just happy, I guess. Take good care of yourselves. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, later.